So I was on a flight once, a long flight. I was uh, between two countries. And I used to do an enormous amount of flying. Used to be part of my job. Used to spend a lot of time on planes. And I'm over it. (laughs) The biggest, most difficult part of flying is... If you're like me and you flew mainly economy, is you just, just don't have a lot of room. And if the flights are like 13, 12, 13, 14 hours, you've got to try and sleep. How do you sleep in a small seat when you've got people jammed in next to you? It's very difficult. Very difficult. You can't ever find a comfortable position. So on this one particular flight, I fell asleep and I had... The most gloriously comfortable position. I slept well, but I was working with a jolt. And as I came to and started to look around, realizing I was on a plane, I looked up and all I could see was the astonished face of the man who was sitting in the seat next to me. You see, I had somehow laid my head on his chest and fallen asleep. And I don't know how long I was there. Uh, I would say a while. And I, I couldn't look him in the eyes. I quickly sat straight up. Tried not to eye contact with him. I mean, what do you say? That was the sweetest sleep I've had in a transatlantic flight in a while. (laughs) You have a very comfortable chest. (laughs) What do you say? I said nothing. I just stared right ahead, but I couldn't help but wonder what was he thinking? (laughs) Like, how does he... Suddenly, (laughs) Suddenly this random stranger sitting in a seat next to him is resting his head on his chest and sleeping soundly kind of weird you know (laughs) we all do stuff that we regret we all do things that are we look back and think what the heck were we doing but the truth is did it really matter on the grand scheme of things did it really affect me no it gave me a great story and probably him even better story a bizarre story but still a good story. And yet in the moment, the acute embarrassment, it's overwhelming. How he felt, I have no idea. Probably fear. (laughs) But I had extreme embarrassment. And if I remember right, there was still many hours left in that flight. And I was desperate for it to end, for me to get off and for me to never see him again. But when you're in the moment, it's it's overwhelming. But afterwards, you look back and realize, actually, that was nothing. If you're facing something difficult right now, chances are you too are feeling, maybe you're feeling this sense of overwhelm. There's too much. There's a difficult situation you face. But my question is, put it into perspective. Will it be this serious a year from now how will you look back at this and let the future reflection inform your present response let the future reflection inform your present response have a good day